Hey, what's up, geeks? Now, the reason that I have this photo shown on our screen is because I want you guys to get a look at what we're actually going to design. We're going to take Instagram's login screen and we're going to recreate this in Adobe XD. Now, the reason I have Photoshop open is because I want to reference the colors for our screen. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to use this eyedropper tool. This color, this, uh, whatever this is, purple. And then to actually use Adobe XD, you want to click on the title up here and then click on fill. What is that color? Now I can go ahead, I can add a second color by adding a linear gradient. So I'm going to bring this all the way over here, bring our second dot right here. I'm going to go back to Photoshop. Now I'm going to go all the way over here, grab our second color, and I'm going to add this right here. Okay, cool. Now the next thing we're going to do, take a look at Photoshop. Let's go ahead and let's add, take care of this bottom right here. So we're going to use our square tool. But before we use our square tool, we're going to turn on, I want you guys to click here, turn on our grid. Make sure it's square. And now I'm going to click on a square. That's good enough right there. But what I want to go ahead and do, first is make sure that we have our square highlighted. And I'm going to remove the border from our square and I'm just going to increase the opacity. So right now, do I have 25%? Let's take a look at Photoshop. I think this will do for now. And also our gradient is more of a like horizontal. So we'll go into go back here move our gradient over here in the middle. Yeah. I think this is kind of more what we're seeing. So if I remove, go ahead and remove the grid. Okay, that looks a little bit more ideal, I believe. We couldn't make improvements, but let's just go with this. All right, so we've added this little transparent little section of our uh, our application. I'm going to add some text. The text reads, don't have an account, sign up. So we'll grab our text tool, zoom in, let's say don't have an account. Sign up. And they didn't bother to put a space between sign up and sign up. This right here. You see that? It lets us know we're in the center. Go ahead and do that. Zoom in a little bit more. Got it. But it's not too center as well. Sign up's for speed. Case. Let's go ahead and change the color of our text. So I'm update this to white. Okay, we also have to make our sign up bold. So we can do that by clicking on our down here where it says font weight. And just select bold. Cool. Next, we're 
going to Let's deal with these lines right here. So we just grab our line tool. Add one line. We can also increase, uh, update the color to white. Now, if we press Shift and Alt, copy, copy our line. And now we have two. And then in between our line, I'm going to add text, and that's going to be four. Add a little bit more space. So go ahead and do that. Now we're going to add our Facebook icon. So we're going to do this. I'm actually going to go ahead and cut this out. I'm going to open. A new tab. And then I'm going to just Use our magic wand to make this a transparent image. It looks like we're having some issues with this. So I'm going to go ahead and just going to forget about this part to save time. Now I'm going to open my desktop, that image, okay, just place it in there just like that. Now usually I like to use a transparent image, but for whatever reason, it wasn't letting me cut it. And I don't want to I don't want to sit there trying to figure out Photoshop because that's not the purpose of this video. Anyways. Copy that. I'm going to add the text login with Facebook. Okay, now that looks, that looks good. I might have this just a little bit too close to the bottom, so I'm going to just clean this up a little bit more. Good. And I also might be close, too close to the edges, so I'll go ahead. Right now it's taking up two squares. Grab this again, zoom in, make sure everything lined up. So I'll keep it. Anyways, this is good for now. Next, I'm going to copy our text. And this is supposed to be bold, so I'm going to go ahead and make our font bold. I'm going to copy this. Make the font regular. And I'm going to update the text forgotten. Your login details, your help sign in. Okay, help sign in. 
Now let's add a button. It looks like our background is transparent and our border is white. Fill this new blank border. Update this to white and then radius. Increase the radius by grabbing this little tab. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and make this transparent as well. So our appearance is gonna be it's about 40%. I can go ahead and just copy this text input and then make sure that I have the, it looks like our border isn't white either, so I'm gonna go ahead and update that. This is 40%, 40%, I'm gonna go ahead and make my border 40% as well. Awesome. Now we're gonna copy our border that up right there and now we're going to make our background color fill in just like that alright looking good now I'm going to copy this text Username, password. Forgot password. I need to place these forgot passwords on top. That's why I'm not able to access it. So now that they're on top,
password. All right, cool. And I think this looks a little bit transparent as well. So go ahead and add some transparency to this. Okay, awesome. Now what we did for our Facebook uh, icon, we're gonna try to do the same thing for our Instagram icon. So go to Photoshop, I'm going to copy this. Now usually this works, so I don't know what's going on right now. I think it's probably because it just may be trouble finding the outlines of this image. Let me just stay away from guessing. So let's just duplicate the layer. Okay, and this time it worked. Okay. Check that out. Grab that. Awesome, I think that looks pretty good. Let me go ahead and see. Lovely. Let me take a look at Photoshop again. Let me do this, let's say. Oh, we forgot our X, so go ahead and add our X. I think that looks real good. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna press play just so we can get to see it on our little uh, simulator that it has. And awesome. Now we've actually recreated the Instagram login screen. This is how you use Adobe XD. There's a lot more that you can do with it, but this is just part one. So stay tuned for part two. I hope you guys uh, were following along and uh, you actually learned something. But anyways, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.